Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we're going straight back into this battle. It's the next morning, fresh cup of coffee. At the moment we have, uh, oh, we have lost the gun lines, okay. I haven't actually, normally I see these battles out from start to finish, but yesterday, yesterday it just got on a little bit too long. And uh, I haven't actually released the episodes from yesterday uh, up yet. Oh, uh, very well. Um, so I apologise for that, but I just ran out of steam, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll get onto this before any errors occur. Um, we did have reports of a line of battleships heading probably towards, uh, probably trying to head to, into port at Imperia. Um, unfortunately, some of our our uh, carriers are in the way of that. Um, so what we will do is probably, since the wind is actually in our favour, we will actually launch another strike. Uh, because we'll be able to launch with just a slight heading adjustment. And we'll launch uh, probably against this group of ships here. Probably. Um, we do see uh, towards the southern tip... Oh no, that's a sunken one. Um, so that was the Aquila, the Sterna and the Puffino. Oh, here we go. Uh, so, 19 naval bombers. Uh, who would be able to launch naval... Yeah, that's probably the base in, uh, in Sardinia, the Olbia. Um, from memory, these that lot was about to hit Fian and Goiden's escorts. Um, we'll just have to see how this plays out. Uh, I'm going to let the turns run, just for a little bit. And we'll see what goes horribly wrong. Just going to adjust the heading on gunsight because those battle cruisers are starting to overtake them a little bit. Uh, gunsight one shrugs off a hit. No problem. Uh, Ocean, you're in the lead. Oh, you're still okay. Um, and Trident is making her way back to the line. Uh, yep, everyone seems to be going okay. Jebonikus has taken a few critical hits. Um, but she's, you know, she's hanging in there. Um, we will launch that strike. While we're here, uh, location, we'll set it to just about there. Uh, we probably won't need escorts. Probably. Um, launch strike, it'll arrive at about 10, 10, 20 past 10. I don't know, it'll arrive about 10 past 10, and it's a 10 minute flying time. Very well. Uh, we'll do a coordinated strike. Um, carry division 18. Can I lower... Well, there's only four of those available. Uh, I may... Okay, so we won't be able to take uh, all of our torpedo bombers. I have not developed multi-carry coordinated strikes. Well, forget about that. Uh, so we'll turn off that. Good, and I'll just double check and make sure 15 is going to launch their strike. Okay. Alright, let's see how this goes. In fact, what's the time now for that, sh that lot of ships? Thus we'll be in six hours. Are we in the middle of winter? We are. Okay. Alright. Oh, hello. Uh, is that destroyer still active? Okay, uh, Magenta may need to take some evasive action here real quick. Uh, go to turn together. 
Uh, some one of the escorts got hit by a six-inch cannon. Uh, Picard puts a fourteen-inch shell into another in the battle cruiser. With combined heavy aircraft factor of uh, 81, we still didn't manage to hit those dive bombers. Um, a shame, but not unexpected. Uh, I won't send the Fiend and Goiden in just yet to harass those ships. Uh, but we'll let it play out a little bit longer. We should have... A Oh. Yep, Goiden, uh, Goiden and uh, Luca managed to take out two enemy aircraft, or Sfax takes out two enemy aircraft by herself. Um, Magenta just hits a one of the enemy battle cruisers with a secondary gun. Was that Magenta? That was Magenta firing five-inch cannons. So even though she's maneuvering, eh, okay, it's not bad. Fian, Fian got a hit. Oh, well done, Fian. Uh, gun sights B turret just got hit. Unidentified ship opens fire at Charlemagne. At that range, that's got to be a battleship. It's probably 12 inch cannon. Yep, all that anti aircraft fire is starting to pay off. Uh, we're starting to run out of ammunition, and we've just got a reports of these ships coming up here. Um, go to Squad Max and see what you can do about that. Uh, now, we'll see if our carriers are launching aircraft. Uh, they still have their cap up. Those are destroyers, okay. CA. Uh, okay, there's a few heavy cruisers sort of tangled in the mix at the moment. Uh, one of our destroyers is trying to take down that transport. Oh, Ocean has a turret jammed. Uh, those destroyers decided they had a better, better place to be. Uh, so a friend puts a 14 inch shot into that. Picard hits again. Picard's getting a lot of hits this engagement. Uh, yeah, Ocean's starting to take a, a bit of fire. How many gun how much ammunition do you have left? Hmm, not a lot, you'll be firing. Forward superimposed free. Yeah. Oh, uh free guns. Um Yeah, they'll be firing. We might have to retire from this because we'll uh, we'll be starting to only have uh, high explosive left. Um, it looks like the Italians have had enough as well. Oh, there's torpedoes going out. One of our destroyers. Oh, okay, must be targeting the transport. Uh, so we maybe start retiring from the engagement. Um, we have, oh, let's say, strike force heading out. That's probably a land-based one, judging by the size of it. Uh, we will turn away. Turn away from this group. 
because we're heading right in towards Italy's backyard at the moment. And, uh... Well, normally I wouldn't mind too much. Oh, Trident. Oh, that was Gunsight 1's reporting most of her ammunition is gone. Um, yeah, Trident's been caught badly out of position. We'll try and send... Uh, Theon and Goiden to give us some anti-aircraft cover. Uh, Luca and all that are closer. Battle Division 22. Hmm. Well, Magenta took a bomb hit. Uh, looks like she's okay. Uh, 1,000 pound bomb. Yeah. 5 inch deck armor. She should be alright. Our aircraft are ready to launch. Uh, put it there. We're going to have a lot of aircraft out in the minute. Look, one aircraft destroyed. Gunsight's so got a turret jammed. Uh, go off turn together. Try and reform your formation. Uh, looks like Sfax and Luca got there in time. Uh, Trident, did your rudder get jammed again? No, I don't know what you're doing, but... Oh, okay, you're rejoining your formation. Oh, there's a 20 of our dive bombers going over there somewhere. Uh, we'll make sure Fian and Goiden have eyes on those ships. Uh, While well, we uh, fast cruise towards St. Florent. Uh, I believe it is time to retire. Oh, we've started launching ships. Oh, we've started launching aircraft, rather. Yep, look at all that. We'll see where that all goes. A bunch of destroyers doing something out there. Oh, looks like Fien uh, is taking care of business. Uh, even even high explosives should work against most most light cruisers. Um, oh, okay. Yep. Um, one of our... yep, there, there they go. And our aircraft got damaged, but they hit a heavy cruiser. Oh, we lost one aircraft. See, the uh, Little Wasp has lost an aircraft. the John Bart. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start picking up some survivors, I suppose. Um, oh, 
Oh, uh, B8. That was two BB hits. Uh, I hope, I'm hoping for some torpedo hits in a moment. Oh, well done, well done, well done, Lafayette. Oh. Uh, Ocean has, is recovering her float plane. <laughs> it's a lot of French aircraft. Um, uh, no, not yet. Uh, we'll just change the heading on those carriers. Just so they don't accidentally head into port. No. No, we still need you up and running. Uh, yep, so free dive bombers from Tourville make an attack run. No hits, but no losses. Uh, Tourville's second group makes an attack run, gets a hit on a battle cruiser. Starting to get some of the torpedo bombers hit. Ooh, hello. That was a good hit. Well done, Bronin. Um, hopefully, well, I don't believe that there's any crippled ships apart from the transport around, and that looks like it's actually gone under. Um, their AA fire is actually starting to weaken. Oh, they managed to hit one of our aircraft with an aircraft factor of four. Just twist, uh, twist Fien around a little bit, just so he's recovering that. Um, just get Fien to slow down to 20, just so that they're covering the rear. Oh no, well, Fien, uh, Fien had two aircraft pull off, uh, and the last one couldn't get his torpedo to hit. Three uh, cap aircraft are attacking our torpedo bombers. Maybe I should have sent an escort, but we hadn't seen. Oh, uh, we hadn't seen any. Um, um, any enemy ships? Uh, yep. Pick up survivors. That was, uh, those are planes from Toulon. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's our planes tracking them. Uh, trying to do something. Um... Planes, uh, yeah, battleships are slowing down for uh, to recover their float planes. Uh, air combat one friendly fighter, uh, one friendly cap attacks twenty. So those must be uh, those might be naval bombs. Oh, uh, one. One torpedo bomber crashes on the deck of Tourville. Uh, we might launch, uh, I believe... Oh, we got a few dive bombers ready. Uh, well, we'll launch... Oh, sorry, we'll change the location uh, to about there, and we'll launch that strike. Uh, and I believe uh, someone had a few dive bombers ready. Yep. So we'll send uh, uh, quite a few dive bombers. Uh, Lafayette only has three aircraft torpedoes remaining. Well, send them.
Uh, there's unfortunately for the Italians, uh, the sinking of Yatagan means there's no Angel of Mercy, Heart of a Saint, out to pick up all their survivors. Uh, so we'll change that to that location. Okay. Uh, go down to cruise for now. Uh, what is that? Ah, uh, yep, pick, pick up survivors. What is that? Those are some... Uh, those are a bunch of medium bombers, and that's a uh, flying boat squadron there. It's a bit unusual, I'm not sure what they're looking for. They're some of ours by the looks of it, so... Uh, yep, so all of those just head into San Florian. Uh, we'll send Fian off towards San Florian as well. Oops, uh, we'll... Uh, they're attacking the destroyer. There's at least one battlecruiser, so they found the main fleet. Uh, trade ship got hit. There might be that. I don't know if there was another survivor or if. Uh... Yeah, just wait for her to recover her aircraft. Oops. I missed whatever that was, I apologize. Uh, they are attacking Flamberge. Where is Flamberge? Oh, they're attacking our merchant. It's like Blackfish. Oh, Flamberge is avoiding torpedoes. Flamberge is hit by a torpedo. Oh no. Not Flamberge. Was that one of our new ones? Uh, it was a javelin class, okay. Uh, destroyer force... F okay. See if we can find where that submarine is. Um, it's getting late. Oh no, we are starting to get storms and light rain, so we'll pull the French uh, carriers into Toulon. Uh, oh yep, just turn to make your recoveries. Torpedoes out of nowhere tell me there's a submarine hanging around. Yeah, that light rain is going to screw over our aircraft landings a little bit. Just do the best you can. Uh, worst comes to worst, we'll have to send them to land-based. Yeah. Oh no, the weather has improved.
Oop, uh, a bunch of enemy... A bunch of our... Uh, that was from Bonifico, so yeah. There's a bunch of caps flying up, so if they think they're in trouble. Uh, go to Fast Cruise and uh, retire into Toulon. Yeah, we're getting multiple reports of uh, enemy ships around the place. It looks like they were heading into Imperia. Okay, let's see, because we're getting a whole bunch of contact reports. Durandal. Okay, uh, just hit to, hit to base. Uh, I believe that is a successful rep uh, repulsion of a landing effort. And that will bring us to the end of the episode. Night falls once more. Oh, they're just going to recover their aircraft and then, yep, head into port. Excellent. Yes to all. There we go. All right. This will be interesting. We'll close out the episode. Fetus has torpedoed an enemy DD retiring from the engagement. At least we got some revenge. Uh, so we lost uh, three uh, javelins. Javelines. Um, every destroyer is sacred, but of the destroyers we could loot, the javelins are probably the, um, the most expendable. Um, we had two with heavy damage. Um, one of our battleships got medium damage, uh, but no one else has really gone beyond light. So what do we have here? We have two battleships destroyed, uh, one battle cruiser sunk, uh, four CVs, four CVs sunk. Not, not bad, Fian. Not bad at all. Oh, and Luca, Fian, Luca. Um, yeah, that was that was a major surprise, um, but that does explain why those ships were able to move so fast, uh, because all the Italian carriers go at 30 knots. Uh, heavy cruisers, ah, oh, we got one and the rest are heavily damaged. Um, more thinking, sunk more destroyers than I remember, and we got eight out of, uh, we got seven out of the eight transports. So not bad. Uh, let us see, point for picking up survivors, so they managed to pick up a few survivors. Um, they failed to reach the target. Uh, they only had one surviving merchant ship. Uh, and they lost a hell of a lot of aircraft. Was that from um, lost on ground in ship? Okay, uh, total losses. We always lost AA fire. That must be, uh, maybe the lost on ground slash ship is, is wrong. Because that, that believes that they've lost. Let me just expand this a little bit. Yeah, so they had uh, 1,000 aircraft and they lost a quarter of them, apparently. 117 fighters. Okay. Hmm. Uh, our operational losses are reasonable. Um, we did lose quite a few few dive bombers. 
uh, to your AA fire. Um, it makes me wonder. That, yeah, that must be the that must be the lost on ground slash ship. That's wrong. Um, no kills from any of our aircraft. Oh no, one kill. Uh, not bomb hits. Yeah, uh, we'll tally up. Oh, okay, we can't tally up from friendly or enemy. Um, not too much interesting in air details, but uh, the aircraft didn't play a big role in the first part. So we've got Sterner, Pofino, Aquila, uh, Napoli, uh, Rondon, uh, the BC Vetter Pisani. Uh, sunk with most of her ammunition. What what sunk her? She got uh, she got eleven heavy hits uh, and no torpedo and bomb hits. Um, one of the CAs took a took a, bit, a couple of bomb hits. Uh, the BB Roma took three torpedo uh, took three bomb hits. So that must have been uh, that's probably a kill chalked up to both the aircraft carrier and the battleship and our aircraft yeah our aircraft made themselves a bit of a nuisance throughout that well well done to uh, well done to Fian and Gordon uh, I probably award them the MVP uh, but congratulations to the rest of the battle line. That is our time. And I will see you all next time. And that's a lot of that's a lot of victory points. Uh, yeah, I'm willing to call it the Battle of Corsica. <laughs> um Ciao.